A $2 billion hydrogen head start fund was a surprise part of the federal budget, but a European utility giant might beat Australia to the punch. It signed a deal to use technology developed in Perth to produce enough turquoise hydrogen to power entire cities. Seven News was given exclusive access to the demonstration plant, aiming to prove it's cheaper and cleaner. South of Perth, an office with a view. Wow is transforming your waste into energy that's arguably greener than green. It's turquoise hydrogen. This has the potential to be an absolute game changer. The demo plant near Woodman Point is a world first and this is the world's first look as the final pieces are put in place. The scale up is the big if, isn't it, with all of these technologies? Yeah, correct. There is a bit of a race on, correct. It, 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 it's like an investment portfolio. Do you put all your eggs into one basket? Turquoise Anything there's too many it? colours. <laughs> there's pink, there's yellow, there's gold, um, you know there's, there's turquoise. Look, ultimately, ultimately what we want is low carbon and no carbon hydrogen. Enter Hazer Group, founded at UWA. It's taken years to prove the technology works. Now they're about to flick the switch using methane from LNG or Watercorp's treatment plant next door. We feed that underneath the ground, actually. That's transformed, impurities removed. Rotten egg gas. Rotten egg gas. And the methane used for a chemical reaction that could solve an energy puzzle. If we compare ourselves against green hydrogen, the chemistry of decomposition Composing water into hydrogen and oxygen is seven times harder than doing the same reaction with methane. This is where the chemistry happens. The catalyst feeds into the top of the reactor. Heating methane to 900 degrees to produce pure hydrogen that can be used as an industrial chemical or to power cars or electricity. The byproduct is graphite that can be sold on to become lithium iron batteries. Nothing wasted and no carbon emitted. To trigger that reaction, Hayes's process uses something WA has plenty of, iron ore. The next step is hot operations due to start in coming months, running 24-7 to produce 100 tonnes of hydrogen a year. Hazer Group's built a bigger plant in Canada and has now signed deals in France and Japan, aiming to scale up to 100,000 tonnes per annum by 2030. In theory, that's enough hydrogen to power New York for 300 days or Perth's grid for two years. Transformational for the state of WA and also for industry worldwide. WA's chief scientist wants the process that was developed here embraced here. I think there should be a new slogan. WA, where the energy is. Somewhere over the hydrogen rainbow. Jessica Page, 7 News.